Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, my beautiful bitty. Going to be doing some uh, talking today about Coca-Cola versus unsweet tea. Okay, basically that is the topic of this video. I have recently switched and have been struggling and I have changed from drinking Coca-Cola to unsweet tea. Okay, however, I know all we're really supposed to be drinking is... H2O water. That is the best thing you can be drinking, and we all know that. But how boring, how unflavorful is plain cold water? Okay. Now, I am one of these people, I drink a ton of water a day, and I have always drink a lot of water, and I have always just flushed my body and my system out well daily. I learned at a very young age to be a huge water drinker, which I am and I have been, but you cannot just rely off water. There's other things that you just really crave and you have to drink. Okay, so now when I was about 12 years old, my mom had bought a case of Diet Coke during the summer of me being 12 years old. And I cracked open a case of Diet Coke at 12 and boom, that summer when I was 12 years old, I got so, oh my gosh, so addicted to Diet Coke it was unfreaking believable and I started at 12 drinking Diet Coke and oh my gosh every single day nonstop I would drink Diet Coke and I would literally drink Diet Coke by the gallons I would drink Diet Coke at fast food restaurants I would drink Diet Coke uh, fountain coke Diet Coke from restaurants dine-in restaurants I would buy Diet Coke by the case I would buy canned Diet Coke, bottled Diet Coke, two liter Diet Coke, and I would just, for years and years and years, I have lived off Diet Coke, okay? Well, Diet Coke has fallen under some controversy for the last several years, as we all know, because there are ingredients in it that, I mean, they say it has caramel coloring, which is bad for you. They say it contains carmine, which is part of the caramel coloring. Um, it contains phosphorus that eats up your bones. Um, it contains NutraSweet, which causes urinary tract infections, uh, kidney problems, bladder troubles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the artificial sweeteners in Diet Coke are no good for you. And there are so many other carcinogens and cancerous causing agents in Diet Cokes. And Diet Cokes are bad for you, this, Diet Cokes are bad for you, that. Okay, so I have been addicted to Diet Coke since I was 12. Now, Last year, about a year ago, I made the switch, a year ago, year, year and a half ago, I made the switch from Diet Coke to regular Coke. Okay, <sighs> not much better. Now, I really don't know if that was a step up or a step down, two steps forward or two steps back, switching from Diet Coke to regular Coke. I don't know if I did the right thing. I don't know if I did the wrong thing. Anyhow, that's what I did. So for the last year, year and a half, I have been drinking Coke. Now, I have not been drinking huge amounts of Coke, but when I go to fast food restaurants, typically at fast food restaurants, all I ever really eat from fast food restaurants are either uh, soup or I get a lot of Wendy salads from Wendy's. I get a lot of salads from McDonald's. And when I go through fast food drive throughs I always really eat salads. Just, oh my God, I'm a rabbit. But anyhow, I would get fa uh, fountain Coke, you know, okay. And I have been drinking Coke for about a year, year and a half. And anyhow, Coke is loaded with sugar. I mean, Coke is loaded with calories. I mean, oh my gosh. This is a 20 fluid ounce Coke here in a bottle, obviously, straight out of the refrigerator here. It's cold, 240 calories. And look at the sugar content here on the back. I mean, 65 grams of sugar. Can you see that? Uh, 240 calories. It has carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel coloring, which is carmine. Carmine is a derivative. Uh, caramel coloring is a derivative of carmine. Carmine, as you know, is made by uh, is made from cockroach and beetle shells. <sighs> Look up carmine if you don't believe me. It's disgusting. Okay, so yeah, it has a lot of caffeine in this. As you can see, Coke is no good for you. Okay, 
and I have been drinking Coke for about a year, year and a half now, and I tell you what, since I've switched to Coke, I really have been getting diabetic symptoms of being a type 2 diabetic. I feel like my blood sugar level has been elevated. Um, my, it just, I mean, I really feel like glucose off the charts, and just the sugar makes me feel bad. It, it, um, it lifts you up real high, sugar does, and you get real excited, and you get real happy, and you get real gay feeling from this, and then you crash down, and you get that uh, downright, you know, like, can you catch a falling star? And you've crashed to the freaking ground, and you feel horrible with sugar in your system. And I've got to that point to where I really do. I feel like I've become a type 2 diabetic. Um, if not a full-blown one, I possibly feel like I've been on the borderline of being one. I have like high blood sugar uh, symptoms. I have all the symptoms of being like that pre-diabetic business, okay? And I really contribute it to having drink, been drinking Coke for a year, year and a half. Okay, point of moral of the story here, the whole point of this is about two weeks ago, I stopped drinking Coke and I have weaned myself off drinking Coke. Now, however, I did fall off the wagon about two days ago and I did drink a Coke, but I have been doing so much better, you would not believe, and I have recently made the switch within the last two weeks to unsweet tea. Okay, I, at first I thought about switching from Coke to sweet tea, but honestly, it's like, why would you go from Coke to sweet tea, you know, from sugar to sugar? So I have made the switch and made the decision to go with unsweet tea. When I go to fast food restaurants like Wendy's and I get my salads, I get unsweet tea. When I go to McDonald's and I get my McDonald's salads, I get unsweet tea. Um, when I go in restaurants, I get unsweet tea. So um, I have made the switch to unsweet tea. I have bought a few brands of bottled unsweet tea to have here at the house. And as you can see, this is a big, huge bottle here of unsweet tea. And it's, it's been very, very difficult for me to make this switch. <clears throat> because I feel like sometimes that unsweet tea, obviously it doesn't have any flavor to it. It doesn't have the zing to it, but it does have the right level and right amount of caffeine to it to kind of keep me going, if you will, because I'm just one of those people. I am not a coffee drinker. I have never touched coffee a day in my life. I have never drank Starbucks coffee. I have never had Folgers coffee. I, I have never even tried coffee in my life. And I am glad I haven't because I really feel like I don't want to get addicted to any, you know, more addictions. You know what I mean? So I feel like I got to have the caffeine to really keep me going. And I feel that unsweet tea has a good amount of caffeine, you know, in it that helps me and keeps me going. Um, however, I'm still struggling with cravings for Cokes. I do crave them. I still do want them. Hopefully, I will get to the point within the next few months and to the level someday where I will no longer be craving the caramel coloring, the sugar, the carmine, the high fructose corn syrup, the carbonation, <laughs> carbonated bubbles. Hopefully, I will no longer be craving that in a few months. So I'm hoping by summertime, I will be full-blown unsweet tea drinker so we'll see now i really don't know how healthy really unsweet tea is for you um but it has to be healthier you know versus coke it's got to be healthier for you so the moral of the story is point of the story is it's a struggle it is really hard to kick soda habit in the butt it really is and if you have kicked your soda habit in the butt i would love to hear from you how did you um, progress through it? What was your progression like? How did you stop drinking sodas? Why did you stop drinking sodas? When you stopped drinking sodas, did you go to unsweet tea? Did you go to just water? You know, what did you do? I would love to hear that. There are so many uh, dietary changes out here that personally, I, uh, as a young girl, a young lady, I need to be switching, making, and um just, you know, it's all for the better because we all do this, you know, for our health. We all do it for how we feel. And I really feel that I was almost becoming a pre-diabetic possibly with Coke drinking, Coke habit. And I made the switch to unsweet tea. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I don't fall off the wagon and go back to Coke anytime soon. So take care. Love to hear from you. Bye now.